Today on my channel, Planner Friends, we are changing things out. I am switching my Faith Planner from this beautiful buffalo check, which I love and I'm going to keep. But I felt like going into the autumn in a kind of autumny, late summer vibe. So let's decorate and I'll show you how I created this. Stay tuned. Hello, Planner Friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm one crafty dolo and today we have a big project on hand um, I'm not sure if this is going to be one long video or two I'm gonna see how this turns out but what I'm working on today this is my uh, a5 carpe diem faith planner and this is the book I'm using my journal for this study so every week I go through here. I'm not writing in it. I was when I first got it and then I decided to use the planner. So it has a verse here. It has pages for reflection and then a second verse and things you can write about and then the next week and so forth. So how I've been doing this, I'm just going to show you this past month of August is I write the verse, first verse down, and then I extrapolate, second verse, and then the lesson. So this past, this month, August, I've been working in here. Um, I've had this, I've been using this since March, since Lent, and you know what? It's time for a change. Um, this week is, goes into September, but I figured I'd finish that out and then make the switch. It's nothing, this binder is great, I've enjoyed it, but let me show you what I'm switching and why, <laughs> what I'm switching to. So I found this on Mercari, ridiculously inexpensive, and it is slightly worn, but barely. This is in good shape as far as I'm concerned. There's no nicks, discolorations, scratches, and at the same time, if you're a subscriber to Coco Daisy, you receive these sneak peeks and they show them on social media too. And this is, I subscribe to the planner add-on kit and the classified planner kit. So what I did is I looked at this and I thought, wow. So I ordered some extra papers, which I've already cut. You can see these. And I also, uh, that's not it, hold on. <laughs> Here's the Bible journaling kit, right? With some extras and so forth. So I ordered all these with this in mind. I feel like, I don't know, I just wanted a change for September, thinking about autumn, thinking about the joy of fall. And I just thought this would be a good time and a good way to change it. So let's kind of see how we're going to set this up and what we're doing and so forth. And as I said, this could be, hopefully I get the bo this done in one video, but we'll see. I tried to do some preliminary punching, which I'll show you and so forth. Now, what I did for this one is I used one of the Echo Park paper kits. I don't remember if it was have faith or faith forward or something like that. I found it, believe it or not, a Tuesday morning, the kit for like $6. <laughs> so I used these, I made tags, right? And I just decorated it. I thought it all went, came together really well. Um, these are cardstock here. And then I put some, the elements on the back. And I just thought this was a great space and the color scheme I thought really blended nicely with this planner. So that's what I want to do in this one. So first off, what I'd have, have to do is I want to add in the inserts. Let's see. I started this in March, right? Yeah, so I would through February, definitely. So I'm going to take those out for now. I'll see about adding more of them later on just for the continuity but I want to put these in here you know what let's, let's slow down and do this the right way shall we <laughs> there we go good these are some of the older inserts from Carpe Diem 
These are their A5, I think, Bloom or In Bloom kit, whatever the name of it is. So now, <laughs> what I was looking at is part of the classified planner kit, you receive this, this, and then I ordered these separately. Now, I just wanted to show you that I was using this to try to put the holes in here. And I lined it up and I, it shows you, this is from We Are Memory Keepers, and on the bottom, you can see it tells you okay this is what numbers you set the punches on for depending on your size and brand planner so I did it one way I did it the other way and you can see here it didn't work and I'm not sure why I mean it punched but it didn't punch properly so I ended up with some extra holes here to be honest with you it bothered me I was trying to save time and I thought this would work and clearly it didn't I thought of even adding washi and repunching, which I could still do. But you know what, for right now, I'm gonna let that be. But I just thought these are so pretty and yeah. So I'm gonna put these in here. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. It didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to, but life goes on, right? I probably should have measured it, whatever. But next, I wanted to put something behind it. So I was experimenting with these. And you can see why I thought this kit would be perfect for this planner. It's so pretty. So that's actually very pretty, even though it's just simple. And then we have a lot of the color there. And what I want to do is create some tags. Um, also, just to show you, I picked up some really, I think this was from the dollar store at one point I picked this up. And it's slightly golden color, but not completely. So I thought that would work nicely for this, for the tags and so forth. So what I'm gonna do now is figure out which one of these I wanna use and how I'm gonna set it up and so forth. So I think I'm gonna use this divider and I am gonna go with the more neutral color here. And I'll show you why. Let's see if I can get this right. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of the things I try to avoid in my crafting is this perfectionism thing. And yeah, this probably could have been moved up a bit. I've never, truth, true confessions, I've never really used the vellum like this. I cut it down for my personal planner, but I haven't done this in this. I've used um, these, the, 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 it's acetate, not vellum, sorry. Uh, I used the acetate from Carpe Diem that was already pre-cut before. So cutting that was a bit of a new experience for me, if you will. But this is all about learning, right? Having fun with it, I think, is the main thing. So I think we're going to go in here. And I'm just going to use this little one. Make sure I have it lined up straight. What I think I'll invest in eventually is an actual six um, hole punch. So it's done and it's, it's, I just put it in all at once. Trying to juggle it is not my forte. Okay, so good. And yes, I like the way that looks. Could be a little straighter, that's fine too. And you can see here, patient and persistent that that layered very nicely in my opinion and what I would like to do again as I said is create some tags and cards out of this other paper so I'm going to take this and this and just kind of create some color pops now so we have this page with this on the back this which I use there isn't that gorgeous actually have a purpose for that in mind we have this with the orange so I think these are really cute and I can play with them how do I trace everything I don't use a dark pencil I don't use a white pencil I use this yellow pencil as my friend 
So I'm gonna trace some of these out. Okay, so I did trace, and you can kind of see the yellow there. And I'm just gonna use my paper cutter, and we're gonna cut some of these up. Uh, let's line it up. Hmm. It's pretty close, actually. There we go. Good. And right there. Okay, this one's a little longer, if you can see. This is why I use the yellow. It's, I can see it, but it's not interfering with the colors that are there. It's not too dark, not too light. So we have those two. Great. That and next is this orangey one, and I don't know. Can you see where the lines are? I can. So and truthfully, this isn't hard to do yourself. And since they're going into the card holders, they don't have to be just perfect, right? And let's take a, you can see the little lines there. Okay, so what I would like to do is, I actually really love this. I have a little bit of this lip here. I think I'm gonna trim that. Oops. Just very slight. Right even it out a little bit, make it a little neater. And I want to put this right in here. Okay, so you can see I put it right there, kind of for a background. And that's partially why I picked the more neutral here. I thought I could really make this pop with some color. So now let me put this back in here. And I do save all of these tags and whatnot. It just how I do it. I think we're almost done with this. But what I want to do here is decide what I'm putting where, how I'm decorating it, and so forth. And that's where some of these come in. So I have this one, this one, this, and this. And I think what I'd like to do is make this one into a tag. Now there are tag punchers. I don't have one. I wish I did. Eventually, my hope is to get one. But for now, I'm just gonna use the line on here. And let's see here, line right there. Okay, so we're gonna scraps out and there we go. It's not entirely symmetrical, but it looks, still looks good. Um, to get the thicker ribbon in, I usually do three holes. And so we can take our ribbon, which is so light, right? Cut a little extra off. And let's see what we can do here. And we're just gonna create our own little very, oh, I love how that ribbon, doesn't that look great? It really sets it off nicely. I mean, I could have found a, a purple or an orange, but I, I wanted to stay really, with the color pattern here and the brightness, I wanted to keep it a little more neutral, but yet, you know, work with the palette as it were. Okay, good. So now we have one tag, we have a card, I mean, I can put something on each one of these since they're not decorated like the pre-cut ones. So we have this one, which is the back to this. Okay, just try to get it straight. So if I want to use the burnt blue here, I can. I love the orange. I think I am going to create a tag out of this orange here. So which one do I want to use? I actually would rather, I'd almost rather use this and keep this purple for to blend in as a card. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. So we create another tag. And again, our little hole punching. Perfect. A little more ribbon. 
Actually, this is going quicker than I thought, so that's good. <laughs> right. Let's see if I can get this through. There we go. Cut some. I like using the ribbons and so forth from Dollar Tree or even Walmart. You can create your tags out of any type of paper. Um, part of the reason I haven't purchased the tag maker, if you will, is the cost. I'm trying to keep costs down and there's nothing wrong with that, right? So let's see here. We have, this will be for the planner pages themselves. And normally I use the Carpe Diem numbers. I'm gonna use the Coco Daisy numbers. We'll put that one aside. We could use some of those. I'm gonna put these aside for now. So let's see what we've got here and what we can put on these to really make it kind of pop, if you will. I'm gonna use the orange. And I'm just gonna pull out more of these. What else have I got in here? These are also cute, and I do have die cuts, so I can peek at those, right? So there's a lot to this kit, obviously. I think we should take a verse, put it on, and then we'll do the embellishment. So why don't we try that? And, and truthfully, for this one here, I'm thinking about using that on the the other the dashboard I created and you know what I think we're going to kind of keep this one simple so let's go with the bible verse here and it says be the light and I think that would go nicely there now what we can do is we can add if we want a little bit of this washi I believe this is from the planner add-on kit I'm gonna overcut it a little. Let's see if we could just do that. And then we'll do a little bit at the top. Okay. That may be too big. So we can trim that down easily. All right. Get rid of that. And Okay, and if we want to, we can put something else here for right now. We do want to, but not this second. So let's put this up here maybe, All right? And we have these two, plus we have this other one. So let's see what we're gonna do here. For this tag, I like this. I think this will work. I can grab it. Okay. Be grateful, smart, clean, true, humble, prayerful. Very cute. Let me see if I like it there. Or do I want to do this? Huh. That's a good question. <laughs> Actually, we might do it like this. Just like that. Okay, and we need two more, one for here and one for here, and definitely for here, I wanna pick up on the purple. So either we use this one, which may be too large, so I was thinking we could go with this one. Okay. There, perfect. And then for this one, I think this one is really nice. Right. Alrighty. So now every tag has something on it. And this one already has the washi, which I think was good. We have these various stickers and so forth. And I wouldn't mind adding either that or the die cuts. So let's see what we can play with here without it being too much. Right. 
So I opened these and I think this is where some of what we're gonna use here, definitely. I like this a lot. And these are like cardstock stickers. They're together, but we don't have to keep them that way. I'm just gonna do that. Very good. We can put this right here. Then for this one, what I would like to do is, and again, I don't know how much you'll actually see of it, so I don't want to go overboard. I feel like we could use this purple down here. And again, we're going to cut that in half. not going to work, so I'll put it here. There we go. Okay, so we've got those, and I think they look fine and good. Um, is there anything here I want to add? I don't know that I do. I think what we can do, there's a few little hearts on here, so I think we're going to add some of those, just for a little extra. Right there. Okay. I like this pretty much as it is. We might, we could add something, I don't know. Why don't we put it in here for now? Switch that around, put this here. As far as this one goes, I wouldn't mind adding another one of these little hearts. Okay, so let's add it right there. Okay, I think I think that looks good. I do. Now for this, I wanted to add a few more embellishments. And I really thought this was perfect. Right? Alrighty. We're going to put that right in the center. Right there. Oh, what else am I going to put on here? I could theoretically line it with some of the washi, like on here. I don't know that I really want to do that. And this, I could put more on here as well, but truthfully, I don't really want to do that. I really think it's the brightness between this acetate and the pattern and the vellum and this paper. I think that's a lot there, don't you? I think we've got quite a bit here, truthfully. I think that works out really nicely. Um, there is a clip that came with it, and I have this. I also have my sunflower clip. So I think we're gonna put this in here. I think that'll look really nicely. And I don't know if I wanna add this one. I know it, it goes, it matches, but I almost think it's too much. I may look for one of my other clips. Uh, let me see if I can get this a little tighter here. And I wanna angle these ribbons a little. There we go more on this one okay good so that's what I've got so far and I don't know how much I want to put back here because it's so it's a lot now I do have if I'm gonna stay with this theme here I do have these other but I was kind of thinking I was thinking of using those more in my in the planner itself what I can do here is maybe layer a few stickers, and I think that would be cute. So why don't we put a few here. Just down here. Make it nice. <laughs> okay. I like that. Okay. And yeah, let's see what we can just a little something. So many stickers, so little time. You know what? Let's look at the die cuts. Okay, let's take a look at some of these and see. There's something here that would work. And that's a cute little critter. Actually, that one I like a lot. Yeah. I think we're going to go with this little fellow down here. Put him 
right there. And is there something we can, how about, very simple, let's keep it simple. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this one, which is let your light shine. And again, this other side, I'm hesitant right now to put anything on there. I could do something like this. Honestly, this looks like it needs to be straightened a little. So I think I'm gonna do that real quick. If you haven't watched my channel before, I do have some visual challenges. And so, yeah, I don't get things, I try, but I don't always get them perfectly straight and so forth. <laughs> but, you know, we just keep crafting, right? Here we go. Yeah, that's better. That's nice. I like the way that came out. So yeah, so for right now, this is going to be, I like it actually. I think it came out really nice. I just need another clip I feel like, but you know, I could even just take a paper clip and tie some ribbon around it and be done with it. But this is definitely perfect going into uh, late summer and into autumn. I love the way it turned out. So yeah, and I do want to add, hold on, digging through my craft area, I found these. These are some devotional pages and study notes, and this is just plain lined paper. So I think what I'm going to have to do is create sections for these in here because I, I like the idea of adding onto this, if you will. So I think I could use this and I could use this for extra sections. So why don't we really quickly take this out and I'll use it as my guide just to clip a few sections in, a few dividers for these sections that is. Okay, I clipped them myself off camera. I just don't want to make it too, too long here. And I think we'll do. Now, if I recall, I have these little tabs here. These are from the planner add-on kit this month, I believe. So I think we can put these on and have some success in these little fun dividers, right? There's one, and there's the other. And what's nice is if I elect to um, use, you know, play with them a little bit, I can add some different elements to them. Now let me put this paper back here. Okay. Just for extra study notes, that type of thing. And I almost feel like I need to put a piece back here to serve like a, a page protector, homemade page protector. I know it's not plastic or anything, but it's at least something. So the pages aren't gonna curl up on me and so forth. So why don't I do this real quick. like putting this right kind of like that I think that would work nicely just to have it it's not a plastic one as I said but it's at least something so I have these tabs here and I am just gonna put them on these so I can keep an eye on where I am and what I'm doing so I'm gonna put this one on put the yeah I'm gonna put the yellow one here I get it. There we go. Okay, and then we put the next one right here. And that works. Right? So then I can 
either type or print some label here, but that'll work. So let's take a look at this again so I make sure I've got it down here. I've got the cards that I made, the, the tags, the little cards. I've got this here. I, I really love this where it is. I originally was convinced I was going to put it under this, but it was just too much. And so we have that. We have this. This I may end up embellishing a little more. I may play with that. So stay tuned for my videos. This has to stay as it is. I almost feel like I need a, a sheet here of some type. What that is, I don't know, but in time. And then I have here, oh, I got something on my tab here. <laughs> okay, I have September, October, November, December, January, and February. So that's six more months. Now my plan is to use this binder through the fall, and then I have a green one that I'll probably try to use for Advent. I think that would look really nice. But I'm also glad I added these in. I have this section, these pages, and then some blank pages and this homemade protector. And I can find something to stick in there, but I think this worked out really well. So there we have it. This is my faith planner, friends, for the late summer and going through fall. Thanks so much for taking the time, for spending your time with me. I hope that not only do I hope I've inspired you with creativity, and fun, I also want you to see again, okay, just a little friendly reminder here. This is not perfect and that's okay because we don't have to be perfect. We just have to be ourselves and that's a valuable lesson to learn sooner rather than later. Thanks again, planner friends. Have a blessed day. Bye.